Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming. This is me again, Marvin, and we're now here for another video, for a very exciting video. <laughs> Since we last made a Lord Knight showcase, it's time, I think, to make a Rune Knight showcase. So this is an account that is very OP from one of our friends and our Vice Guild leader before on KR server. Lodi Edsgar, okay, so he used to be a paladin, but of course, naturally, when the third jobs get released, of course, he will be a rune knight since there's still no third job for the paladin, the royal guard. Okay, so let's look at this. Look, at, first, first of all, look at the, the sprite on this thing, look at the costume. This is the normal, normal uh, costume of the Rune Knight. And I think most people won't be applying any costume for the, the long, longest time because this is crazy. This is really good. Okay, so, of course, it won't be a Rune Knight without a Velociraptor, right? So here it is. Ooh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. This is so cool, okay? This is so cool. Okay, so let's look at the skills first. So he has, of course, the Rune Knight has both skill jobs or skills for the spear type and the sword type. So a little spoiler, he says that the sword type is really viable now, okay? Right now, we will be looking at first the, the Dragon Mastery, of course, the Velociraptor. What does it bring to the plate so this one okay you obtain additional 1000 points of weight limit grants you 10 percent bonus in riding status and keeps the damage modification at 100 percent regardless of targets size so this is just like a passive drake card imagine so you would be hitting the enemy small medium or large at 100 percent there's no penalty now oh my god goodness okay so um the next one would be dragon breath all right so he does not only have dragon breath so this is fire this is wind and this is water oh <laughs> with all the same uh same description so this one would be dealing damage reducing movement speed look at this 50 percent slow 50 percent slow for three seconds and with 20% chance of immobilizing them. Not stunning, but immobilizing them. And each point or each five point of strength increases the skill damage by one. And when the skill, skill is released, it strengthens the caster's weapon. So meaning whenever you use it, you get to have additional damage on your normal attack and gale blade to inflict additional uh, elemental damage for two seconds. So this one is fire i think this is fire this should be fire not wind element uh, damage because the wind element damage is this one the inverse scare and for the water it's still the same slow and mobilize additional damage for strength and this should be water elemental damage okay so it's really flexible you can use fire you can use uh, wind or you can use water whatever your enemy is okay but you would want to use all of them you know why because you need four points in order for you to awaken your dragon <laughs> awaken your dragon i'm thinking of a different thing about that but anyway so one point for each breath okay so dragon breath water dragon breath fire and dragon breath wind or inverse scare would all give one point so if you have already casted all of these three then you would get three points you need only one more in order for you to unlock the skill of awakened dragon god so when you use this your dragon type skills are increased multiplier is increased by 1000 percent times 10 <laughs> and also uh, refreshing the spear stabbing so spear stabbing is this one okay continuous spear stabbing at that point and one hand increase the de damage of the explosive blade by 100 percent and this could be amplified more by a vero score okay so 
um, we will show it later. So the pierce is now fast stabbing. So this one does not need any, you know, any condition in order for you to hit the enemy multiple times. This would already hit the enemy 1000% damage. And it's already AOE. Imagine! <laughs> AOE because this one as you can uh, notice the breaths have a cooldown of 10 seconds okay 10 seconds 10 seconds 10 seconds so you cannot spam it that much but this one is affected by attack speed so you would most probably be using fast stabbing and spear stabbing so spear stabbing is a channeling skill but you would deal a lot of spear stab or fast stab to the enemy okay so uh this is also also um aoe and you would likely be using this one because it also crits i i'm not sure if this one it gets to be allowed to crit i think so maybe maybe okay so um this is the shadow stabbing i'm not sure though uh if this could be used but Apparently, when I looked at the settings, it does not use it that much, okay? Then, so that is for the spear. So, by the way, even if you are on sword, of course, you would still need the Awaken of, uh, you know, Dragon God, this breaths, and Dragon Mastery, okay? But this time, you would now be using Enchantment Blade, okay? Uses runes for weapon enchantment and magic injection. Deals additional 50% neutral damage when casting normal attack, when doing normal attack or uh, guild blade for 180 seconds. So deals 50% fire damage when casting explosive blade. So this is the explosive blade. So the rune knight uses their own weapon to strike the ground, creating a wide ranging lava shock wave. I haven't tested this one out, but well, let's see later. <laughs> Up to 10 monsters within the attack range. So it's AOE and you get to have a chance for the monsters to be stunned for one second, 20% at that. Same again, five points of strength incre increases the skill damage by 1%. When the skill is released, it, it strengthens, etc, etc. So it's uh, this, this one is almost the same as the breaths. Okay, so... Let's talk about the rune. Since this is called a rune knight, you would most probably be using a rune. Where do you get a rune? So the runes can be bought at any uh, Kafra store or even your VIP. I think it's on the last part. Okay, this one. Mighty rune stone. So there are no uh, different stones. As you can see, all are already uh, you know, combined in this one item. And you just need... A lot of it because you're gonna be uh, using it most of the time so what does each rune or each type of rune do okay so this one is the sympathy rune this one gets you gives you a shield that can absorb damage and the shield is 100% of your own HP Wow, I'm not sure though if this stacks with 1-1 one, one or the Sigil. I'm not sure, but this is really cool. Okay, this is lasting for 10 seconds with a cooldown of 30 seconds. Honor Rune. So, this is really good for counter attacks. So, aside from parry, sword parry, you would most likely be needing this, particularly on the sword build. If another player attacks the caster, there is a 5% chance to damage the attacker's weapon <laughs> i'm not sure if the the weapon could, could be this damage could be uh you know shielded by the biochemist but i'm not sure but this one is really good with the three second uh, cooldown and return 20 percent of the damage to the source of damage so it's like you know you already destroy the weapon of the attacker and at the same time at the same time, it's a reflect. Oh my goodness. Next, Wisdom Room. So this one, if you are currently on crowd control or frozen, etc. So you can remove all of those by just casting the Wisdom Rune. And at the same time, you would be immune to all control effects for 5 seconds. But it has a long cooldown, 30 seconds. Okay, the last one is this one. Okay, Bravery Rune. After using this rune, temporarily increase the attack of allies within 10 meter radius by 10% and increase your own attack 
by 20%. So this buff lasts for 15 seconds, but with a cooldown of 60 seconds. Okay, so now we will be testing first the spear. Okay, the spear build. And look look at this. Look at this. This is, if you're wondering, this is Tao Gunka. <laughs> if you're wondering what are this, this is Moonlight Flower and Edgar card. And lastly, these are both Owl Baron card. Come on. And already uh, uh, already unsealed, so that's why it's 12% chance. What? So look at the effect of Moonlight Flower. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. This movement speed. What? Wait, how can you make this uh, camera go further away? Okay, there you go. Look at that. It's so fast. <laughs> okay, so what's the current uh, movement speed? Um, it's 173. 173% movement speed. And I think it could go, uh, you know, faster. I think it could go faster. I'm not sure because before I was on 198% when I was testing and uh, studying a little bit of this rune knight. But anyway, let's test it out now on the laboratory. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So um, in terms of the weapon that he is using, okay, I think this is, uh, let's go look at the mythic gear. Okay. So this is the Royal Knight Spear, okay? So it is specially made for Rune Knights. So this one, okay, when plus six fast stabbing and spear stabbing can now land a critical hit. So that confirms it. Its critical is equal to 70% of the character's crit. Whenever you get to refinement plus 10, being in Dragon Ad God Advent or Dragon Awakened God Dragon, um, increase the skill damage further of Dragon Breathwater and Fire Breath and uh, the Roar or the Wind one by 10% additionally. And on plus 15, increase the damage of Spear Stab by 3% for the same target per hit. Okay? So, and increases this uh, the damage by 5% in Awaken of uh, Dragon God. But um, it does not say to how much does it stack because it says per hit so up to how much does it stack i'm not sure so on plus 18 physical damage plus seven percent okay so let's go let's go i think the other one is a what do you call this one this is all for the swordsman class and the reason why he's using the rune knight uh, weapon is because i think it's you know it's really stronger okay so for the armors, of course, I think he's using, still using the tier armor. I'm not sure. Uh, what is this? Okay, so this is the Charles Charleston Excellent Set. So what does it give? What does it give? What does it give? Okay. Um, increase physical damage by one percent for every twenty strength. Okay. So it gives fifteen crit and uh, vitality plus twelve. Melee physical damage and max SP, max HP strength plus 12. So, an upgraded, a little bit of an upgraded version of Tears set. Okay, so let's go. Let's go, let's go. Look at that. Look at all of those. Okay, so um, let's try it on a an MVP. Okay, an MVP. Let's try the... Which one? The, the Ifrit? Let's try the Atros. Okay, because... This one is just shadow, so it won't be affected by any elemental uh, skill. Okay, then pause the AI. Let's go. Oh my goodness. This is the first time ever in my life that I'm going to battle the Atros. <laughs> okay, so now uh, this is the spear uh, type. Okay, so let's test the Dragon Breath Fire. Okay. 4M. Okay. <laughs> the the water one. Okay, it's 8 million. Why does it have a uh, higher damage? And the inverse care. Okay. So 6 million at that. Let's go and test the I think the water gives out more damage because this one is not fire. But I'm not sure. Anyway, so um so as you can see here on the uh, the icon below, this is the uh, dragon the dragon stacks okay so you get to 
uh, take it up to four points and then the awakening will be available let's try it so this one okay this one and this one now it's open let's try it dragon god look at that wings look at the wings guys look at the wings Whoa. <laughs> And it's available for a couple of seconds. I think that's already 30 seconds. Wow, look at this! It's so cool! It's so awesome! Okay, this is the spear stabbing. And it's a channeling thing, guys. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so now we won't be using that. We will be using the free mode so that we could have an infinite HP. Okay, so it's this one. Look at that! <laughs> okay, so in terms of the... Uh, this is the... Sh oh, that's the shadow stab. Um, let's try to put the... Where is that? The fast stab. Oh, it's it's already... Oh, no, no, no. It, on manual. Okay. Um, let's try it here. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's... That's a lot. Okay. Are we on agility? Okay. How 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 fast are we? 400% attack speed. Okay. So if we can make it to a higher attack speed, apparently let's let's try it, okay? A higher attack speed. Okay, it's now so from 0.8, I think it's now 0.7. Look at that. <laughs> okay, not fast enough as it says. <laughs> fast stabbing okay so now we will be restarting this so let's go okay okay so we can see that the points get garnered here okay okay there you go it now has four points let's go it's now gonna awaken there you go look at that look at that Oh my goodness okay so that's the fast stabbing and now you're gonna be using that again so imagine this on PvP every time that you use the dragon breath fire your enemy gets slowed by 50% and considering that you're most likely going to be having a high movement speed this is really awesome and when you spam all of this three, you get to immobilize the enemy and then stab them continuously. Wow. And you even can proc the sonic blow or even the bash so that the enemy gets stunned unlimited. Wait, is that 150 million? Okay, there you go. All right. So anything, anything that is, that surrounds you gets damaged by the spear stabbing. It doesn't stop, but you have to be in range for it to damage the enemy. Okay, there you go. We now uh, know. <laughs> so imagine all of this can crit. So whether you are on sword or you are on spear, you can just switch weapons, switch skills, switch cores, and then. You can use any of those without changing the enchants because the enchant would be most likely, uh, you know, crit, right? Let's now look at the sword build, okay? So let's change this to the sword build, okay? Let's now change the spear to sword, okay? Let's look at the cores. So here on spear, there is a spear barrage, 100 spear. There is the sanctus sperma. Okay, this is the Holy Light Shield. And this one is uh, the Concentration. And this is for the Shadow Stabbing and Fast Stabbing. Wow! Okay, okay. This is a lot. It doubles the damage after the Dragon's Roar. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So let's change it to Sword. Okay, Sword PvE. Okay, there you go. Omni Chip. Um, Rage Onslaught here. Core overload, you need that, right? Speed gale, okay. Increase the da the gale blade, the damage of gale blade by forty percent, and increase twenty percent attack speed in awaken of god dragon god status. This is heartless strike. Uh, I think this is the crit 
of our uh, global server and the concentration core. Okay, so we now use this, the mythic gear, which is the morning elemental sword morning. It increases the damage of the explosive blade. And uh, on plus 10, Gale Blade has 5% chance to deal double damage in Dragon God status. On plus 15, it has a uh, enchant on plus 15 enchantment blade uh on on plus 15 when you have enchantment blade on increase the additional physical damage multiplier to 200 percent and physical damage plus 12 percent on plus 18 okay so that is it of course on auto we are using of course the the aura blade sword quicken all right of course uh concentration too and the enchantment blade this is gonna be so good but let's see oh oh we have to use our uh, velociraptor okay there you go let's try looking at the explosive blade okay let's try that oh that's the explosive blade so so almost the same description with the other breaths but does not add one point to your uh, dragon awakened dragon uh, bar okay so we will buff our blade concentration and <laughs> and damn buff okay <laughs> what what wait what even water ball Firebolt, I think the water ball comes from the costume. Firebolt, cold bolt, explosive blade, sonic knife. <laughs> and look at this. So even you you can even continuously attack the enemy uh, because the, the the casting animation is just a short animation whenever you use the breaths. And now you can use the why is it not using the the awakened dragon okay let's just use it there you go whoa holy shit <laughs> oh i i know now why he is preferring this on pvp because you cannot escape this you have slow you have immobilized you have stun you have different types of attacks everything can just just kill the enemy and it's just like auto attack and then you can freely uh freely use any of the rune as you would need and at the same time you can max out your points here that fast oh my goodness even auto cast explosive blade and then now let's awaken again whoa <laughs> This is so scary to battle. This is really scary. Oh my goodness. And it even has bleed, guys. It even has bleed. What? <laughs> okay. So it's time for redemption, guys. For all of the Lord Knights, it's now time for redemption. Wow. You know what I'm gonna say, right? You know it. You know it. We are now <laughs> changing into a Lord Knight. <laughs> this is so much fun. And I mean... Your 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 magical attack is not wasted here because of the lightning bolt. Oh my goodness. Hey, don't go out. Okay, there you go. <laughs> look at the look at look at that. Look at that. Okay, there you go. Let's awaken it. Boom! Look at the devil. <laughs> Oh my god! I think Lord Knights will be very happy. The much awaited and the much deserved redemption on the class is here. 
and it's coming out very soon and that's it guys thank you everybody for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe if you haven't liked this video please do leave a like share this to your friends and click that bell notification button so you get notified by the time i upload a new video start a new stream or a new content that's it see you again on the next video bye bye